What's up, enthusiast? A little while back, NF Strike got in contact and sent a few things my way for review, one of which I asked for, and they added a couple other things in for me to take a look at as well. Uh, let's go ahead and just dive right on into this, because there's some stuff that I really, really like, and, well, one thing that misses the mark. I guess pun intended on that one. Uh, this, let's, let's start with this one first here. This is their self-resetting target that is electronic and has uh, sound and all that. Now, the sound I could do without on any target ever, really. That's just my personal preference. I don't need the sound. Uh, I'd love it if it just auto-popped back up. The problem I had with this was, um, unlike some other reviewers that straight up broke the target pieces, when I shot the caliburn at this, the pieces popped off. Like, they just flipped right off and were gone. So, had to go get that. So, it doesn't really work for prolonged shooting. So, that was a bit of a bummer. Now, if you're shooting stuff at a lower velocity, you're not going to have as much of a problem with that. But, if you're shooting a target this small at any decent range, you're probably shooting something out of a Springer or an Air Blaster or something at a higher velocity in general. Unless you're just trying to shoot across the room to plink around and have some fun then this may work for you uh if you don't mind uh the sounds not being in english or whatever language uh you may speak which was you know a bit of a bummer but i get it given their uh target demographic with this so that's that's my thoughts on this not necessarily something i would purchase myself but uh close closer to what i was hoping for uh to it for it to be but I like the fact that it self-resets. Now, if they can make these out of a stronger material, or maybe there's a way to reinforce this to prevent it from snapping or popping off, then we may be in business. But as it stands now, I can't quite suggest that one. Now, what I can suggest are these two. This, the 12 Dart P Mags, are quickly becoming my favorite magazine to use, period, end sentence, end discussion, well, not in discussion. Things will differ depending on what you're aiming to do. But for my 5v5 games in the competitive settings, 12 darts. Now, these actually can fit up to 14 darts, which is important to know. But uh, you can potentially mess with the springs if you shove 14 darts in there. So 12 to 13. We'll say that. 12 to 13. Uh, in this small, small form factor is great. Like, you can, you can put these out of the way and they're not going to get in your way. They're not going to be bumping around. They're just fantastic. I love them. They... The build quality is just so nice. It's, yeah. Uh, I, I try and bend it and like, it's just, I love them. Worker products are great. I mean, we know that by now. We know that. You guys have all probably seen the PMAGs before and just the translucent blue is just my favorite of them. It's fantastic. I love them. This is the magazine I want the most of. I want to order another like six of these or something. I want to have a ton of them to just load and drop and go. Uh, but we've talked about PMAGs before. I just wanted to make sure that the dyed clear plastic was going to be as sturdy, as durable, and as reliable, and it has been. It has been fantastic. I used these uh, at the 5v5 game where I was when I was done with a mag. It, it just got dropped. It was whatever. It got left in the field, and I was just on and off to the next one. It probably got stepped on. I mean, it, I wasn't too concerned about this. That was not uh, the least of my worries. It fed everything well, and that was not, a, not an issue. The thing, however, that was a surprise to me was this little guy. This little 12, 10 dart magazine that kind of has that op aesthetic from Counter-Strike or AWM from uh, PUBG. If you're playing, this goes essentially with that new kit. That's the cosmetic kit people have been messing around with on occasion. But... They sent me a couple of these, one in short dart, one in full length dart. And at first I thought, I mean, that's kind of neat, but why run 10 when I can run 14 for not much more size? But uh, honestly, I kind of love this. I feel like everybody should have one of these at least. And the reason for that is, is not only is it just sturdy and, and just feels fantastically like, it just feels fantastic in hand. It really does. Beyond that, it's so small. Like, look at... That's a six dart magazine. That's six darts, and you've got that little bit extra right there. 
for four more darts of capacity. That's absurd. I love this. It is, it is absolutely magical. Let me grab, actually, something really quick to show you. And the reason everybody should have one of these is if you ever plan on running like a stripe as a secondary that I see some people do, uh, you, you have to have like a 18 or a 18 drum or a 12 or something that it's a little bit longer than you'd like hanging off the side and that can get in the way of certain things. Stick a 10 in there. Look at that. It barely goes out past the handle or the grip and it just, it's so nice. You get 10 shots off of that rather than a six that sits, I mean, it's not, it's not that big of a difference. It's really not that big of a difference. And you get four more shots, which is great for that last ditch kind of feeling. So that's, that's my thought on this. On top of that, if you're running something like a Caliburn or uh, some other single shot mag fed blaster that's just a powerhouse, but you're not really looking for that high rate of fire and you don't want a ton of bulk on you, that's where these things shine. 10 darts, that's it's nothing to, to laugh at. That, that's a decent amount. So this, this was my surprise. I, I really, really did not think I was going to like this anywhere near as much as I do. So that said, like these, these are my two kind of favorite magazines right now. And uh, thanks to, to NF Strike for sending them because I don't think I ever would have actually bought one of these to give it a chance. I just would have kind of passed it up. But honestly, buy one. If you ever plan on running a, a Strife secondary or, or a some kind of smaller secondary on your leg or something like that that's mag fed, buy one. It's worth it. Honestly, I love this. I could not tell you any more good things about this because it just, uh, it surprised me. It came out of nowhere and I'm rambling about it now because I honestly, yeah, I just really dig it. These are kind of my go-tos right now. Like I've still got my F1055 uh, 15s that I'm gonna run on occasion, depending on what my loadout dictates and whatnot. But for the most part, at competitive games, this is what I'm gonna be running. And if I you know, need something small and compact, this is what I'm gonna be running. So pick some of these up if you're looking for them. These are, these are my go-tos. This, this not so much. This you can pass on unless you're looking for something to plink around the office with and you don't need to auto set, you know, cause if you turn this, the, the batteries on and have it, auto reset back up, you're going to get the sound. So if you just want something you can, you know, take a few shots at and then you manually bump it back up in the office or something like that, then it's not so bad. But these, yes. So thank you again to NF Strike for sending these my way. Uh, if you haven't tried any of these yet or if you have tried them yet, let me know what your thoughts are about them. Or are you surprised by this little one as I am? Because I, as you just heard me gush for the last five minutes, I really, really dig it. So, all right, that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, actually. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.